Welcome to this Google Site screencast where we're learning how to share class activities. In this screencast, we're specifically going to show how to use the announcements feature. So on the teacher template, we built in an announcements page over here on the left side. If you go there and you do a new announcement, we also added a gadget on your home page that pulls those announcements into this, almost like it's its own little feed directly from the announcements area of your site. So we thought this would be a good place for teachers to post upcoming activities or if you posted a study guide for your class and you want it to be something right on your front page that you know jumps out at your students or your parents when they come there that's that's kind of why we built this in so let's show how this works let's do an example i'm going to go to the announcements page on the announcements page if i go into edit mode with the pencil i could edit out this text there's some help text here you could also you know if you want to put something above this you can you can put images in here or other text if you want to to do an actual post, you don't have to be in edit mode to do a post. You just come and click on this new post button. When you click on new post, it takes you to what is just a, a brand new page where you give a title to it. And I would suggest when you do a title for an announcement, put something with the date in there just because um, then that way when people see the titles of your announcements they'll know how relevant it is based on when the date is. So Tech Club starting 3-5 that might be something I might post. I pre-wrote some information here I'm just gonna paste that in just to save time. So I'm gonna start a Tech Club I wanna have that you know be known to any students that visit my page. I'm also gonna add an image in here you can add images into your announcements just like you can on a regular page so I happen to have a, uh, a picture on my desktop that I'll add in there and that came in a little big. I'm going to make it smaller and turn on word wrapping and there's a nice little announcement. I'll hit save. So when you create your announcement and save it, two things happen. The page actually gets created and it will also show here under announcements. So here's the title. So that another reason to maybe keep your title short because they do by default show up as a sub menu item under announcements under the navi in the navigation area. If I go to the home area, that that uh, announcement also pulls into this recent announcements gadget. The whole thing isn't here. This is linked up so users can click this, but you can see, you know, it shows the first sentence or two, dot dot dot, meaning there's more here for people to see. So that's kind of how this gadget works. Any new, the newest announcement you have will be the topmost announcement in this little box. So just a great way to, to mention some things or advertise some things that are coming up and it's right on your home page when, when students or parents come there. Let's say you don't want the announcement to show as a submenu item. We're going to do another screencast later that shows how you can alter this navigation area. Right now this is set by default to add any new pages automatically. So if you look under our extra section for the unit, you'll, you'll, see some, you'll see a video that shows how to take that out. But let's say you've got a bunch of announcements they built up over time, they're really old, they're stale, you want to delete them. You can do that by simply just going to the page where the announcement is, going to more, and choosing delete page. And you'll be asked to verify, do you really want to delete that announcement? You can hit delete, and it will actually delete from your site. If you plan to not use the announcements page, I would suggest go to the announcements page, do the same thing, you can delete the announcements page, it'll delete it from your site and delete it from your menu. Also, you should then go to your home page, go into edit mode on your home page, and when you look at gadgets, they act similar to pictures where when you click on them, you get a little preference or a little uh, like preference bar for that gadget. So I could click on this shaded box, this is a gadget, and I could remove this gadget. So you don't have to use the announcements feature. If you choose not to use it, I would delete it, just give you some more space on your site. So that is the announcements feature. Uh, thanks for watching.